Good evening all and welcome to this special edition of Elite FPL where for a bit of fun and you can blame Blonde for this um, she reminded me of a video that we did or more specifically I did uh, from a few years back entitled Jane, J- James fuck me Jason took a minus 16 what the fuck why and basically, I'm just going to react as we go along here. Um, yeah, let's just get on with it, shall we? Because does anybody even remember this? Let's press play. Let's play the old classic music. Yeah, like for me how powerful that music is it really is the in my opinion the elite fpl theme song let's just quickly skip along here down and i was just checking to see who's been captained etc etc to jason's team i was like sterling sterling how did he get sterling in and then i looked up minus 16 minus 16 cheers Boona I agree with somebody in the chat just now has he lost the plot I I honestly have no idea why he's done this for all I know he's doing a member stream right now I won't have a flaming clue so I have no idea what the context is whatsoever I have no idea when this happened um I'm assuming it's for a, well, it's definitely for a single game week because I can't see any double game week players there. So Jason did a minus 16 um, this specific season from, like I said, I think it's about three years ago. This is. I won't have a clue if he's doing a member stream or not, but I think he's lost the will to live. Minus 16. Let's have a look at these transfers. Well, this is the team here. I can I can tell you what the transfers are just looking at it. He's done Adams in, Sterling in, Rashford, Banford and Chilwell? No, Dallas, perhaps. Let's have a look officially what he's done. I can't get my head around this. Why? 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 Banford, Rashford, Adams, Lamptey and Sterling all in. For Watkins, Rodriguez, Calvert-Lewin, Regulon, Fernandez. Oh dear. Well, I say oh dear. Um, it's the usual line of it will probably pay off. Um, anybody that's Captain Sterling, congratulations. There, your double-digit haul there. No, I'm, I'm sorry, Jace, but I don't care. Oh fucking hell! Yeah, look, I'm wearing um. The dressing gown, that's right. Because I was getting ready for bed. And fuck yeah, I was getting ready for bed. And I thought I'd just quickly check what people have done. Obviously I checked Jason's team first and I'm like, I've got a I've got a stream about this now. Christ almighty. This is, this is, this is, ma- what is it in 300, they say? This is madness. <laughs> this is Sparta. I mean, you had Flame and Andy earlier on going off stream because of power cut. You then, you then had, apparently, there's no apparent about it. It's a fact. Saïs isn't playing tonight 
Saiz, I can't even bring it up on Twitter. I've just literally just loaded this up. Saiz isn't even playing, so... Ion Walsh is a nice team, but he just has to have everything new and shiny. A nice team is not that good. <laughs> Sterling, nah, man, it's the usual line. I'll be proven wrong, but I'm sorry, but Man City without a striker are absolutely, they're not great. They're not that good. I agree with what Boone has just said right there, which is Fernandez. Where is it? Got rid of Fernandez. That's pretty stupid. It's unbelievable. I, I lost your heads, mate. That's shocking. So, yeah, the reason why that was brought up is because Blonde, because I was, all this, no one would know. If you're not a member, you won't know this, but um, I um, have been doing... I think daily members videos for the last few days essentially just going through my thought processes regarding this uh, double game week that's happening um, starting on Saturday and I've been basically saying how I'm contemplating a minus 16 and that's why Blonde said well it's funny you bring this all up because do you remember this little gem from here because it, it bizarrely randomly popped up on her YouTube channel and what I can say is that I have taken a hit. I've done a minus eight. I'm, I'm not revealing any of the players whatsoever as of yet because I don't want Jason to block me off, basically. Um, all this week I've been talking to members about the various um, outcomes I'm expecting and stuff. And um, I'm relatively happy that I've done the minus eight. However, I am looking at a minus 12 because I've been... Dally Pool, here we go. Um, Stein. I've been tighten up the maths and I think that I can get away with doing a minus 12. I think I can get away with it, which would in turn mean that I get 12 double game week players. And I'll be pl I'm playing bench boost. So I'm playing bench boost, 12 double game week players and it means as well that I get to bring in Holland for free because the big discussions that I've been having on these members videos with myself essentially is I don't want to be bringing in Holland next week for a hit. I want to be doing it for free. And the only way I could do that is by if I was to take out one specific player but bring in a player that's either the equivalent price or cheaper which is what I'm probably going to be doing. And I've just been doing the maths. Here we are. I've done the maths and points per minutes, this player is better than the other one. So we all know how that's going to go, don't we? The player that gets more minutes is probably going to outscore the player that I brought in. But um, he is someone, though, that is in form, to be fair. And based on all the statistics that I've been looking at and everything, it would appear that um, I should, should, if it continues the trend, be okay with it. Talking of that um, team, my team there is up on screen. Um, the players that I brought in are below. It's that way, isn't it? Still not that way. Still not there we are. Fuck, you know. They're below, down there, somewhere on the bench. So on screen, you've got Ray Ringgold, Gabriel, Estepinian, Chilwell, Perraud, Rashford, Salah, Saka, Matoma, Watkins, Havertz. I haven't decided who my captain is yet. Um... Like I said, I've got four players on the bench. Three of them are double game week players. So I still haven't done the minus 12 yet, but I probably will be doing it. And yeah, that um, specific player is obviously on the bench when I get it done. But um, there is the 4-4-2. And as it stands right now, that's what? One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. That's eight double game week players. But on the bench, there's a further three, which makes that 11. Oh, your maths is good. So I'm probably going to do this minus 12 because I think over the next few game weeks, it should be okay. Should be. Um, <laughs> but as we all know, with my luck, um, it will be the complete opposite, as we know. Hence why I'll be doing my usual 50p bet, 50p bet. Um but yeah, I'm a pretty happy with going into this. And like I said, I've been doing all these um, members videos, g going through the various permutations of what could or couldn't happen. And from my standpoint, most people in the members league, they've all got an av pretty much 11 players, 11 double game week players. And the mo most of them are going to be playing bench boost. Jason's got no chips and his team is as follows so he can't play his bench boost because he hasn't got it and he's got i think eight double game week players i think now he could for all i know um do a minus eight twelve sixteen but his team there you've got a uh, pickford in goal you then have trippier Double game week. Henry, double game week. White, Chilwell, double game week. Sun, Saka, Madison, double game week. Buemo, double game week. Ganotto, or Notto, whatever his bloody name is, double game week. Kane, and then you've got the four on the bench, which all have double game weeks, but Ward may or may not be a guaranteed starter. I think he will be. I think Ward plays. And then you've got Salah, double game week. Matoma, and Estepinian which means then that Jason's got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten double game week players. Sorry, he's got ten. I keep forget. I keep saying this. I keep forgetting Newcastle have got a double game week. And Jason's set up fine. If he doesn't do anything, he doesn't do anything with his team. And if he does nothing with his team, it means then again that we have got... I mean, our teams are completely different now. It was only a few weeks back that our teams were virtually identical. Now they're, they're completely different. Completely different. So I'm going to be really interested to see what Jason does um, regarding this double game week. If he does nothing, then... You know, he's, he's set, like I said, he's got 10 players for free. Whereas I've got 12, but for a minus 8 slash minus 12. That's the issue. So I'm already down 12 points as it stands right now. Because I'm probably going to do the minus 12. Whereas in Jason's case, he's got 10 players for free. for this double game week and like I say with a lot of the guys that do the member that are part of the members league looking through their teams they've all got a minimum pretty much of 11 double game week players and don't have to take any hits and can go into the double game week happy so yeah tomorrow is going to be fascinating um, assuming that me and Jason are going to be streaming and then Saturday is going to be very interesting because obviously we've got quite a lot of Premier League fixtures at three o'clock, thankfully. Um, as I bring it up on my screen here, um, there's, what is it? It's like five or six fixtures at three o'clock. You've got Arsenal versus Leeds, Bournemouth, Fulham, Brighton, Brentford. That's three already. Uh, Crystal Palace, Leicester, four. So we got five. Nottingham Forest, Wolves. So yeah, I'll be doing three o'clock kickoffs on Saturday, and then obviously that evening we got Chelsea versus Aston Villa, two double game week teams. Following day we got West Ham versus Southampton, Newcastle, Man United, which is the that's a huge game. 
Everton Everton versus Spurs. Obviously, Spurs in a lot of turmoil at the moment. Whatever the hell's going on there. Not a great fixture at all for Tottenham. And then, obviously, we've got the games midweek where it all kicks off from 7.45. Then, obviously, it all ends on Wednesday with the two games kicking off at 8 o'clock. This game week for some teams, like myself, could be a massive payoff. The problem is, though, is that because the majority of teams that are my rivals have got 10, 11 double game week players anyway, they're already at advantage to me. They're already at advantage. And of those 10 teams, of the top 10 in the members league I think seven of them have bench boost and will probably play it one that was Natasha she only had eight double game week players and second spot doesn't have a bench boost but had I think it's 10 or 11 double game week players and has already revealed what he's going to be doing I think he said he's going to be doing a 3-5-2 and he's actually dropping one of his double game week players because his single game week player is a better double than I think it was Buemo and Buemo he was dropping for one of the single game week players and I can't think who because they had a better fixture I think it was like an Arsenal player and there was another individual who off the top of my head I've completely forgotten they also don't have the bench boost and looks like they're probably going to be playing a th- Three, four, three, but again they'll have ten, maybe eleven double game week players. So yeah, if you're basing everything as an average on people with double with the the, with the amount of double game week players you've got, I think most people, like I say, will have eleven for free. Whereas unfortunately, I've had to take this hit and. Have I bought in anybody majorly different? <laughs> Not really. Um, I'm almost kept par with most of what um, people have got anyway. So yeah, it's um, not nothing major, but uh, certainly, um, so, I mean, I'm looking at Seb Long's team here as an example. So he's got Kepper in goal, it's one. Zinchenko, Ben Mee, two, Trippier, three, Mings, four. Um, and he's got Saka, Madison, five, Martinelli, Kane, Tony, six, Watkins, seven, Batona, eight, Rashford, nine, Estepinion, ten, Raya, eleven. So that's Seb Long in the... The, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because it's the YouTube chat league. And I'm assuming he's got his bench boost, which he does. So he'll be playing his bench boost and playing able to play 10 11 players as I bring it up on screen here for you guys to look at and then so he's third in the YouTube chat league yeah there is that so he, he he's all set a lot of like I said a lot of teams because of planning are all perfectly set up for this double game because I just scrolled down to those subs. All set up perfectly fine for this double game week. Whereas I've unfortunately had to take a minus eight and probably going to be a minus 12. So, but I'm excited for this double game week. I've, I've looked at the Ben Krellin's Twitter feed and looking at his schedule and everything and from my personal perspective bench boost this week is the best time for me to play it for the amount of double game week and single players that I had in my team which were worthy of decent fixtures and like they always say oh yeah who's they always play your bench boost when you feel that your players even if it means in a single double game a single game week even if it means that your players have got decent fixtures just play it 
especially if you've got a, a team headache, just play your bench boost. Whereas in this specific case, for me, the bench boost makes, in my opinion, perfect sense. Perfect sense. In fact, I've written down here the even the minutes for the players that I've brought in. And I've essentially taken out one, two, three, three double game week players. Uh, sorry, three single game week players. Or I will do three single game week players. Uh, yeah, a doubler and also another doubler. But overall, it means that I can do, from my own personal perspective, Haaland in for free next week. That's the main objective for me, making sure I'm able to get Haaland in, because then you fast forward like the, the next few weeks. Because it's crazy to think how quick um, this is all going to turn around now. All these matches. You know, next week, um, from the 8th of April, again, you've got fucking hell, there's loads of fixtures, two, four, six fixtures on Saturday at three o'clock game week 31 again there's five fixtures at three o'clock game week 32 is the blank where a lot of people could be potentially I mean as it stands right now in that blank I've got three four or more specific three, uh, five, six. I've got seven, eight, nine. I've got nine blank game week players. And that blank looks shit anyway. I'm not going to be. I know that there's individuals like Harbour Boy that are wanting to play their free hit that week because they've got so many players from Chelsea, Brighton, Man United and Man City. So it makes complete sense. But for me, I don't need to do it. Whereas I'm looking at probably free hitting in double game week 34 because it looks the, from my personal perspective the best opportunity to load up on the likes of say I've already said it triple up of Liverpool triple up of Man City triple Man United there's nine nine players from three of the best teams in the league okay I can already hear someone scoffing at Liverpool but you know from asset perspective the fact they've been knocked out of the Champions League, they've got nothing to play for other than a league position now. Um, I think Liverpool uh, could be a team to look at. Uh, Man United, like we all know, they're they're pushing for everything at the moment, and obviously Man City are fighting for the league. Whereas that specific game week, Arsenal are at home to Chelsea. It's a horrific fixture. So yeah, um, I'm looking at, like I say, that game week 34 and thinking I could potentially take some form of advantage with a free hit looking at it all. And again, this is all based on Ben Krellin's um, fixture ticker that he's put together and I've just gone, do you know what? From my personal perspective, it makes absolute logical sense to do that bench boost 29 free hit 34 and then the only downside to the free hit 34 is that I can't play my triple captaincy however if I do my transfers right over the next what is that between three game week three four game weeks I could potentially go into that game week already perfectly fine in double game week 34 with enough players where I can just go, actually, I can use that triple captaincy on Haaland, on Rashford, on Salah. That's the key for me. If I get that triple captaincy right, if I get this bench boost rice and free hit, it could could potentially shoot me up. But who bloody knows? Uh, just a quick one. I don't know, a couple of comments um, here from Harbour Boy. 
Um, mainly that the, well he says here it's a good point on the easiest the easiest leads to follow are the small ones and the reason why I'm bringing it up is because essentially uh, there's only a couple of leagues that I really follow from my perspective which is the members league and the moderator league um, they're the only two leagues that I kind of focus on these days especially the moderator league because the standard is quite high and I'm just glad that I'm in and around um some top quality players um he says here the three leagues i check mostly are the moderator league the coffee league and the pub lunch league which have 10 or fewer members that i know well yeah um he's also saying here about um going on hangouts um i go on hangouts sometimes on discord this is uh but the busiest times are when i'm asleep so it's not easy to find a good time and the reason why he's bringing that up is because the sent podner was saying to me how he thinks that I should be going on hangouts more, but I was making the point that I don't actually have the time to go on there. And every time that it is, as I've always just stated, it's busy, I'm either working or I'm asleep. So, And then finally, uh, yes, the semi-annual Planet FPL wife episode is a, is a crowd favourite. She's so popular that the Planet FPL patron to the whip around uh, to pull together some cash for James to take his wife away for the weekend. I mean, that's... It's genuinely really lovely to hear that, uh, from obviously from James's point of view, that his patrons, I don't know, clap together what fifty, hundred quid, and um, just the pair of them just to go away wherever that may have been. So yeah, it just shows how strong uh, communities can be when it comes to supporting uh, various channels, whoever you choose to support basically it's funny because i was thinking about this the other day like why would i pay for content or additional content and you know i've said this before i used to be a patron to planet fbl but unfortunately due to uh, what was it two years ago now i was a planet fbl but due to the cost of living and all this nonsense i couldn't afford it someone could say it's a tenner stevo can't you afford a tenner no as I've discussed death a thousand times on members videos, my my incomings are my outgoings. I bring in this amount of money and that amount of money goes out. So I essentially break even. I've had to cut things out of my life, which were, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Not pleasures. Fuck me. I've completely forgotten now, but things which um, brought a bit of happiness to my life, I've unfortunately had to cut out because I just can't afford it. We're all in the same fucking boat at the end of the day. And the cost of living is just absolutely fucking ridiculous to the point of where I was literally on my phone to my mum yesterday. And I literally said that if I was to move from London, you know, do I really want to be a burden on you and live with you? No. <laughs> For fuck's sake. So could I afford to live on my own down there? No. So I don't get paid enough to live on my own. And yeah, it's it's just ludicrous, the cost of living at the moment. So paying for things which are an addition to my life where, okay, okay, from Planet FPL point of view, it was bringing me additional podcasts, but I had to work out, but where else could that £10 be spent? And unfortunately, from my personal point of view, it goes on to bills. You know, my mobile phone bill's gone up. My car's gone up. The price of diesel. Okay, yeah, it's come down, but it's gone way up since two years ago. I think it's, what, 40, 50p more diesel is now than two years ago? That's just me guessing. Uh, I'm now in a, a room, albeit this is a recent change, but I'm now in a room which is now £200 more than what I was paying before. Food, I'm now paying an additional £5 extra on top of what I used to pay. Used to be £7 a day, now it's £12 a day. £7 is 12 fucking quid a day. Taking the fucking piss. Um, What's this got to do with Patreon? Well, the point I was trying to get at is that when people do support channels like ours or Planet FPL, Andy, whoever you choose to support um it's valued by us the host in this specific case me and jason and it shows the kind of loyalty these individuals have to us essentially 
um, and they enjoy the content that we, the additional content that we bring um, throughout the weeks. But anyway, um, I'll be here all day. Otherwise, um, I've got to get going anyway. But um, yeah, that was just a quick video about... Um, I can't even remember what the fuck I was talking about, to be honest with you. So as ever, um, hopefully me and Jason will see you tomorrow for a live stream. Just check out on Elite, at Elite FPL on Twitter if you're ever being able to follow it because now obviously Elon Musk has come out and said, you must get a blue tick. You must get a blue tick. Pay me £8 a month. Pay, me, pay, pay Twitter £8 a month. And you get, you get uh, the fact that all your followers get to see your stuff. I could do a rant about social media right now about how bullshit it is anyway um, but I'm not going to yeah so if you want to see any updates about when me and Jason are going to go live next just keep updated on Elite FPL Twitter essentially at Elite FPL would you believe um, other than that um, I'm going to clear up out of here enjoy your day or evening or whatever whenever I'm deciding to post this and uh, yeah see you soon <laughs>